Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to yet again another FIFA 17 video. First things first, before all the comment section is full of it, I haven't been kicked out of the YouTube house. I'm just back home in Liverpool at the moment, just visiting family till Friday. Anyway, in this video, with, with that out of the way, because every time I come home, you guys seem to think I've been kicked out. Anyway, we're going to be doing some squad builder challenges sniping, uh, marquee matchups. There's the international break this weekend, so we've got some very big matchups. And as a result, I am going to be, um, I, I suppose, investing in players through sniping methods to hopefully make ourselves tons of coins by the time the squad builder challenges do come around. So of course we have got England versus Scotland, so as a result I'm actually going to be sniping some uh, gold and silver Scotland players. So there are only 11 gold Scotland players on the game, so they could actually be very good to snipe. So we will actually start with them. So this is incredibly low risk. To be fair, as you can see the filter is dead, he's just gold, Scottish, um, 450 by now. The reason I say it is incredibly low risk is because... 450 coins by now, these players sell on easily anyway for 350, regardless of the squad build challenges. So, if for some bizarre reason EA don't want to do a marquee matchup between England and Scotland, you're only going to be losing 100 coins per player. But let's be honest, guys, it's going to happen, so you're going to be making a lot of profit sniping these players. Remember, guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated. I have already tried this sniping filter out. And it is incredibly OP. Uh, got a Naismith for 400 coins and also got Marshall the Keeper for 400 coins as well. Already they are selling on for 600 coins. So you can flip them instantly and make like what? 20 coins with the EA tax. But definitely hold on to these for a couple of days and then sell them on for in the thousands. Here we go. First search. Look at that. We got a Marshall. So I already said I have picked up this guy previously. But I just got backed out. Come back in and first search. We see a Marshall, who is, of course, a goalkeeper. Very interesting position for marquee matchups as well because he actually might be highly in demand. So for 450 coins already, like I've said, you can flip him straight away for around 600, but definitely keep hold of him until around Thursday when it is believed that marquee matchups are going to be released. Um, so yeah, as you can see as well, not much competition on this filter. That was actually the first player that I've searched for and I actually managed to get him straight away. Here we go, and another one. There we go, we managed to get Liam Bridcut this time. Literally, just as I was saying, from the Marshall filter, um, sorry, from the Marshall snipe on this filter, it's literally no competition right now, so there is going to be more competition when this video comes out, of course, but right now on 450 coins, I'm getting every single one of these guys. Also, if you do have the privilege of maybe staying up later in the night, um, again, there is going to be less competition there, but... 450 coins, definitely the region you want to be sniping them in. Here we go. Who's this? Oh, Matt Ritchie. That's actually the first time I've seen this guy. So, um, playing for Newcastle, of course, he is actually in the championship. But another Scottish gold player in Matt Ritchie right there. And again, I still haven't missed one of these players yet, guys. So, I've said as well, you can also obviously just flip them straight away if you want. If there isn't going to be a marquee matchup, but... Seriously now, it is pretty much guaranteed that between England and Scotland, there will be one of these squad builder challenges. But we'll keep going, and I'm going to keep trying to make bank getting these Scottish players. Here we go, another one. Ooh, MacArthur this time. Right, so I've actually missed one. I was literally just saying that this, um, this sniper filter is so open, but that is the first time I've missed one. James MacArthur, Crystal Palace, eh? Uh, he had a field day against Liverpool. Um, even though they got beat in the end, but that's the first time I've seen that guy and actually the first one of these players that we have missed so far Oh, here we go again. Yeah, James Morrison this time central midfield gold again Of course Scottish this time in the Premier League that may actually have a big impact to be honest guys The Premier League players potentially could be worth a lot more by the time squad build challenges and marquee matchups do come around simply because there may be a very high chemistry limit so, um, getting the Premier League players could even be an additional bonus. We won't know until these marquee matchups do actually come out, though. So, uh, right now, it's kind of just investing and hoping for the best. Right, so guys, we did have a lot of joy just then on that gold Scottish filter. So, what I'm going to do is actually move on to a silver filter. But instead of just doing all silver players, because we've obviously got a lot of players from the Scottish League, I'm actually going to be focusing on the Championship. As we saw, there are already quite a few Scottish golds from the Championship. So, 
Maybe the silver players from the championship as well, of Scottish nationality, will be very crucial for the squad builder challenge. Again, this is kind of just improvisation. We don't actually know what the qualifications or recommendations are going to be for the squad builder challenges, but like I've said, very low risk as you can almost instantly sell these players back on for the price that we are sniping them at. So it really is kind of a win-win situation to be honest, guys. Here we've got 200 coins already. No way, we've managed to get one of these players for 200 coins. I'm pretty sure that is their minimum price. It is indeed, so that could end up being a fantastic snipe. Like I said, it's win-win because um, if these if these players aren't needed for squad build challenges, then you can just sell them straight away anyway. Or if they are needed for squad build challenge, you're actually sitting on a gold mine. So like I did say as well, um, going with the championship is just me using my initiative. Um, this actually may not turn out to be a successful sniping filter, but again, low risk. So it doesn't really matter too much at the end of the day. And uh, right now I'm actually just having fun sniping these guys. Sometimes people ask me, uh, why do you spend so much time sniping instead of playing the game? I don't know, honestly, like people enjoy opening up packs. I actually enjoy sniping. When I get a successful snipe, especially when there's competition on the market, it's actually very enjoyable. Oh, 350. That was a bit of a lazy snipe as well, you know. That said 54 seconds. I was checking on my PC. I just managed to get another um, player from Scotland. This is actually Russell. He looks like... I think that's a fantastic snipe, you know. This guy could be used. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to leave it here, guys. So I managed to get myself another player of Scottish nationality from the championship. This time it was Russell from Derby. The price of these players is already going up. I originally started sniping these players with a 350 min by now. Now as you can see, there is just like nothing. So whilst I was getting that Russell, I actually had that on 450, and again, nothing even there. So these guys are already up to 500 coins. Now as you can see, only a couple of them at that filter as well. But uh, these are definitely going to be good to invest in, in my opinion. And if not, like I said, it is incredibly low risk. But anyway, um, there are actually other marquee matchups that are potentially going to happen. You've got the USA versus Mexico. We've got to see some squad build challenges in that. So potentially, you guys might want to look into them as well and come up with your own unique sniping filters to make some coins from that potential marquee matchup. Anyway though guys, I'm actually going to finish up the video here. Hopefully you have enjoyed, hopefully it's helped you as well. Um, I'm sure, I'm pretty much guarantee you guys that these are going to be good marquee matchup filters. If not, like I said, already low risk. That is definitely the term of this video. But anyway, if you have enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button. 1,800 will be greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate all the support on the channel at the moment. It is insane, so thank you guys for that, keeping me motivated to produce this content for you. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video though. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you are new around here. Hopefully I will see you guys next time.